Welcome back to this channel for practice problems for actuarial exams. My name is Krzysztof Ostaszewski. You can find information about me at smarturl.it forward slash Jedi. My advice on how to pass actuarial exams is at smarturl.it forward slash pass. This video channel is at smarturl.it forward slash pass actuarial exams. Here you can find information about online seminars and study manuals for exams PFM, IFM, and LTIM that I offer. I direct the actuarial program at Illinois State University. You can find information about it at smarturl.it forward slash actuary. If you would like to offer a tax-deductible donation to support our students, please go to smarturl.it forward slash help ISU actuary. Here's a problem for today for exam P on probability. The fall of the Soviet Empire resulted in massive unemployment among former KGB employees. A group of such former KGB employees have used their professional experience to switch to new organized crime activities, murder, extortion, and kidnapping. Of course, given their vast expertise, none of them will remain dormant, so every one of the group will engage in at least one of the three activities. You are given that among them nobody does both murder and kidnapping. Also, the number in the group who do extortion is exactly the same as the number who do murder. Furthermore, 25% of those who do murder also do extortion, and 50% of the entire group do extortion. And of those who do two out of three crime activities exactly, all do extortion, while none of them do kidnapping. What percentage of those XKGB do only one type of crime? And here's the solution. We begin by labeling the events. Let M be the event that an XKGB does murder, E be the event of doing extortion, and K be the event of doing kidnapping. We are given that M intersection K is empty, and this also implies that M intersection K intersection E is empty. Also, probability of E is equal to probability of M. Probability of E intersection M is 0.25 of probability of M. And probability of E is 0.50. And um, E intersection M union E intersection K union M intersection K minus E intersection M intersection K is a subset of E while E intersection M union E intersection K union M intersection K minus uh, E intersection M intersection K intersection with K is empty. The last two conditions can immediately be rewritten as um, E intersection M union E intersection K is a subset of E and E intersection M union E intersection K intersection with k is empty. The first condition is redundant, while the second one tells us that e intersection k is empty. We also know that property of e is 0.50 and it's equal to property of m, so that property of e intersection m, which is 0.25 of property of m, is 0.125. And now we have 1, which is the property of m union k union e, is equal to property of m, plus property of k, plus property of e, minus property of m intersection k, minus property of m intersection e, minus property of k intersection e, plus property of m intersection k intersection e. And that's 0 0.5 plus property of k plus 0 0.5 minus 0 minus 0 minus 0 0.125 plus 0. And that's equal to 0 0.875 plus property of k, so that property of k is 0.125. Note that the event E intersection M union E intersection K union M intersection K is the occurrence of at least two of the three events simultaneously and um, probability of E intersection M union E intersection K union M intersection K is equal to probability of E intersection M plus probability of E intersection K plus probability of M intersection K minus the probability of E intersection M intersection E intersection K minus the property of E intersection M intersection M intersection K minus property of E intersection K intersection M intersection K plus the property of E intersection M intersection E intersection K 
intersection M, intersection K. So that's point 0.125 to five plus 0, plus 0, minus 0, minus 0, minus 0, uh, and then plus 0 at the end, and that's equal to point 0.125. The probability we're looking for is the probability of M union K union E minus um, E intersection M union E intersection K union M intersection K. Well, that's equal to property of M union K union E minus property of E intersection M union E intersection K union M intersection K. So that's 1 minus 0 0.125 and that's equal to 0.875 which is answer A. Please remember this is copyrighted material. The problem was written by me and a solution is mine. All rights reserved, reproduction in whole or in part without express written permission from the author is strictly prohibited.